Greetings, my people. Come on in, come on in, come on in. In the God of creation. Which is something with you. Because I recognize that emotions sell. Emotion sells. And people love when people come across and speaking about their Jesus as the emotional. Come on, give me a break. Let me say something to you. You being emotional, okay, emotional does not mean you have the Spirit of God. Okay, the Spirit of God comes by the manifestation of itself, which is God itself. Manifestation of God does not mean you're emotional. Understand me? Does not mean you're, you're, you're speaking in whatever tongue, uh, you're getting emotional and all that foolishness. You don't have no Spirit of God. You just learn to manipulate people's emotions. And this is what you have learned. Let me tell you. And because of that, because of they've been, they are following the ways of men, which is their five senses, okay? You learn how to manipulate them. And this is what you are doing. And this is what you are done, okay? When you're speaking about the God of creation, the God of creation is not the emotions and feelings. The God of creation is about a manifestation which is in you. Understand me? Which is the spirit. And when I said the other day about Jesus creating heaven, what I'm saying to you is simple. Without Jesus, there would be no heaven. Without Jesus, there would be no hell. This is what I'm saying to you. So you may understand. And you talk about me to do research. Let me say something to you. What I'm speaking here, you never heard before. And what I'm speaking here is what I'm writing about. Understand me? Because the truth, without the concept of Jesus, there wouldn't be no heaven. Because the fear-based mentality came because of what Jesus, but the idea of Jesus. Okay? Because the whole intent is to make you a person, whether white, black, it don't matter who you are, is to make you a good slave, okay? To make you, who is beneath them, a good slave, okay? And they have you mentally because you're connected only by, guess what? The tree of knowledge of good and evil, which you are looking and searching for right and wrong, and not connecting to that feminine and masculine energy that dwells within you. Every man have it within them. Okay? And the God of creation have created you and make you balance and made you balance. So when you as a person going around judging according to the tree of knowledge of good and evil, you are really done lost and you continue to walk in their foolishness that they want you to walk in. Okay? I said to you before, that Jesus, the name Jesus, is the opposing force, is the accuser of the virgin. Who said, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God? Is Jesus did it. Jesus, the concept of Jesus is what done it. That's what done it. Who accusing the whole universe as a sin? One person is the concept and the idea of Jesus. That's the only thing that accusing the whole earth and saying that you have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's no devil doing that. And if you're looking for a devil, that's the devil. Okay? The gospel is what going around throughout the whole earth and accusing people of wrong and right. Okay? The gospel. So when, you, when you're talking to me and saying what you're saying to me, I want you to comprehend this. Because I know you're a Jesus lover. So my thing is not about to destroy whatever you got. If you love you, you're Jesus, that's your business. But don't come and speak to me about research. You need to research and understand the concept of Jesus only and was created in the 16th century 
they take it from other places. You understand where I'm coming from? So what, that's what you need to comprehend. I am not knocking your stuff. Your stuff is your stuff. I don't time to talk about that day. But when you come and you talk about what I'm saying and I need to research, no. Nah. You need to go and research and learn and know where what you're following came from. And when you comprehend that, this is what you went, this is when you will come to the realization that guess what happened? You've been brainwashed. You've been brainwashed to believe that this name, Jesus, is the creator. It's not the creator. And this is what you need to realize. It is not the creator. When you come to the realization that guess what happened? The creator is the creator by itself. You don't need no man to be the creator for you, for it. You don't need no man to die for your sins. Because guess what happened? Even to your own Jesus said, guess what? Only God, which is the creator, can forgive sins. So, I don't understand your mind. You all been brainwashed so bad and you all see it in your face. You all been brainwashed so bad and you all see it in your face and you still, because I speak something that is contrary to what you believe, you will come and say, I need to go and research. No, you need to go and research. And this is what you need to do. You need to go and research and find out where you, where the origin of your so-called creator, because he's a God now. The idea of Jesus make him a God, but that don't make it the creator. See, this is what you all fail to realize. A God can be anything. A God can be anyone. Okay? The government system is what run this earth to date. Okay? Which is which is God's. You understand me? That's the government system. You cannot change that. But you need to stop taking offense because somebody say that Jesus is the devil. He, the idea of Jesus is the devil because it's what oppose. You have to understand the devil. The devil is something that opposes the God of creation. Jesus, let me, see some, let me explain something to you. Jesus, the idea of Jesus, when I say Jesus is the opposer, is the idea of Jesus, because it's man who created that, okay? So why, why don't you understand, why you to sit down and stop getting to your emotions? I want you to sit down, be calm, think about what I said. I said to you, guess what happened? The idea of Jesus, okay, was put in place to stop you as a person from going unto the creator, okay? That's the whole mission. Because they make you believe that Jesus is the creator that created everything, which, listen to me, when he's saying the heavens, okay? The heaven is the idea that came from them to make you believe that this God supposed to be is beyond your reach, which is beyond the firmament. But the God of creation, the God that create the earth, the waters, and the firmament, that God desire is to manifest itself within you. So why would the God of creation create a heaven out there that you as a person cannot reach. Let me share something with you. All of this idea that they want you to believe that the God of creation and think that the God of creation is out there, which is their Jesus. You understand me? Which is their Jesus. That's the idea. Okay? And their hell that you want to put you in is to put, put fear in you as a person, which is hell was created also, which is a mindset. Okay? It was created also to do what? To bring you as a person. To bring you as a person into fear. To make you a good slave. Whether white or black. I don't care who you are. Once you become a good slave for them, that's what, that, that's, that's what it is for them. It doesn't matter. 
And this is what you need to realize. Understand me? This is what you as a person need to realize. And stop the foolishness. When somebody say that Jesus is the devil, it is the devil. Pay attention. Jesus is the devil. And that's what you need to pay attention. Don't be fooled by these people. So next time you come and you, you're talking to me, uh, 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 conversate about me when I say what I say. Just be careful how you come talking about me and talking about this, this, this idea of Jesus. And because if you love the idea of Jesus and you think that it is the right idea for you and you want to stay in your slavery mentality, I have no problem. I have no offense. I am not offended in no fashion, in no way. You shouldn't be offended and be offended because I say that guess what? Jesus is the devil. Understand me? Because why? It is the opposing force of the God that created the earth, the waters, the firmament. Listen to me. You actually, you, let me see how far you go. They actually make you believe that the idea, which is Jesus, is what created the earth, the waters, the firmament. How, how brainwashed can you get? Let me say something to you. There is no, none, no man that came through a woman. I don't care who they are, what they are, what is their name. Guess what? No man, no woman, any thing that came through a woman cannot be the creator. Get it in your skull. Get it in your mind and get out of the brainwash idea that Jesus is the creator. And stop being offended because you are offended because of some what somebody else said. You will not stop and think and stop being slave by these brainwashing people. Listen to me. If, a, if something been posed upon the massive of people are pushed upon the massive of people over hundreds of years, that does not make it right. And this is what you need to realize. Understand me? This is what you as a person need to realize. It doesn't make it right. You walk in an idea of hundreds of years and being enslaved by an idea for so many years and living a life. And to you, it become normal because you don't, you don't know nothing else different. That does not make it right. So don't make the person who have the right information to be the enemy because they're opposing what you know. You need to stop for a moment, think, and go and research for yourself. And stop this foolishness. How long you... Let me ask you a question. How long are you going to wait for this so-called Jesus to come again? How long? How long have our ancestors been doing that? Not only black people, white people also. Been waiting for the so-called Jesus supposed to come. How long are you going to be brainwashed? According to the Bible, according to your Bible, it's supposed to happen quickly. Let me tell you something. The God of creation always manifests itself in men. Always. True dreams are vision. Because that's the way the God of creation speaks. 
The context of creation doesn't speak to the, your emotional system. Your five senses, the context of creation doesn't speak to that. The God of creation speaks to dreams, visions, not emotions and feelings and your little petty five senses. The God of creation has placed more than that in you. They want you as a people to walk in slavery, which is in the mind. And they've got you right now in the mind. These people see for themselves and they know for themselves that guess what happened? Their system is falling right before their face. It's the slaves who are actually fighting to save the system. <laughs> it's sad. Let me show you how serious it is for me and how, how offensive and how the slaves now become the rebellion people and actually fighting to save the system. The slaves is what actually literally fighting to save the system. The slaves. It's sad. The slaves is who fighting and giving their life to save the system. Because for them, the system is beneficial to them. Come on, give me a break. It's not beneficial to you. It's only beneficial to you because you as a people does not know no better. When you stop for a moment and accept truth and really question what you know, then you will come to realize all this is a myth. All this was made up by these people. Okay? By these people to control and rule over you. But for you to come to the fullness of self, they don't want you to come to that. Okay? Which is to come to know the God of creation, which is to come to know the creator itself. Come to know the creator itself, and this is what it is. Stop. I want you to stop. I want you to stop and truly don't get caught up in foolishness. Don't get caught up in man's idea of this concept, okay? You know, <clears throat> yeah, yesterday I was there and I was, I listened to this, this, hey, yo, some of us just get offended with these people. How they disrespect our people and how they come with their concepts and religious ways of doing things you know and then the slaves actually fighting to keep this thing alive which is we who are brainwashed to accept this concept about jesus is the creator just is not no creator please save yourself from this wicked and perverse generation understand Save yourself and stop the foolishness. Stop letting these people brainwash you. And don't be offended and don't be scared to speak because there is the devil. Yeah. So don't, 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 when you, when you, you got this idea about whatever they have this about, don't come to me and come telling me like you want to 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 speak to me and try to disrespect and try to disrespect you in no way my thing is about i speak truth if you don't understand truth go and research yourself go and research yourself because all my all what i was saying to you is this simple that the idea of Jesus is what created the heaven. God didn't do that. God created the firmament. The God of creation created the firmament. Understand me? The God of creation created the firmament. I could go even further. The God of creation didn't create no night. If you read in Revelation, there's no night there. Understand me? 
The God of creation created day, which is 24 hours, if you understand. Understand. Night is the idea for them. It's for them, it's not for you. It's for them, because there's only one day. But that's what I'm saying to you. Second, third thing is this, that hell, hell is about fear. That if you does not follow their rules and regulation, that guess what happened? That you will burn in hell. Understand? And make you a good slave. Heaven is about you receiving a reward after you die in the physical. Okay? Why, you wa why would you want to receive a reward after you die? And your inheritance is, is of the earth. Understand? Okay? You live life now and have a great experience now in this lifetime. Not when you're dead. You wait for reward after you're dead. The God of creation is not going to use you after you die to say to you, if the God of creation, if the creator is going to use anything, is somebody who is alive, not when you're dead. How foolish can we get to be so brainwashed to believe? Yo! I'm coming, I'm coming. To believe that, that, that God is going to use you when you're dead. God ain't going to use you when you're dead. He don't need you when you're dead. What are you, you going to do with you when you're dead?